Where are we? Says Kiria. Alright guys, welcome back to some more Rimineko when they cry. Now, uh, the roof of my mouth hurts um, <laughs> quite a bit here, so I've made tea for myself. Okay, anyway, I made some tea for myself, even though it's not a Rimineko tea party. Um, so, yeah, I know, don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll make sure to drink some tea. And the tea party comes up as well, and we'll make sure to drink it within the first te ten minutes and of the video, and barely get ma make any progress with the tea. But don't worry, the tea will also come when the tea party comes around. So don't worry, episode four tea party. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be making tea then too. But I need to make some tea now because, uh, you know, not my throat, but through my mouth hurts like really badly. Um, so I'm thinking by drinking tea, um, maybe I'll help it. I'll help it. Um, Help my mouth a tiny bit, you know what I mean? Help, help rejuvenate it, maybe my throat as well, we'll see. Um, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, that's basically it for the messages for now. I think you can get right into Mineko, right? I think we can. I think we can. Uh, I'm, I don't, I'm not sick, I don't feel sick, by the way. Um, but there have been times where I've had my, my mouth and my throat hurting. Uh, okay, guys, 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 chill. Uh, and uh, the day after, I, I, I get sick. I've had times where that has happened to me, but uh, let's hope that doesn't happen, because uh, tomorrow I do have a lecture in the morning. It would be better if I got sick, because it's a lecture I have to, I must physically attend. It's one of those I must attend, even if I'm sick. No, no, not even if I'm sick. If I'm sick, obviously I'll stay at home, but it's just... It's a lecture I really want to attend, for obvious reasons, right? So, um, yeah, it would be unfortunate if I can't manage to attend it because I'm sick. So yeah, um, let's hope I, I don't get sick. Let's hope it just stays a, a little bit of pain on the roof of my mouth. I've had it since morning, so since today. I didn't have it yesterday, but I, I woke up with horrible mouth pain. Roof of mouth pain. So yeah, whenever I swallow, guys, chill, 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 chill. But whenever, yeah, it hurts. It hurts the roof of my mouth, okay? Freak you guys. Alright. And I know I know the sort I know the sort of viewer base I have. Y'all are y'all I know y'all I know what y'all are like. Not all of you are not all of you are like this, but I I know. Alright. Do, do, do you think I've forgotten when a, when a commenter of mine said uh who do you think is the hottest character? And then and another commenter replied with Sakutaro. Do, do, do you think I'd forget that? Yeah. Yeah, I won't forget that. I won't forget that. Yeah, exactly. So, don't no worry. I'll, I'll, I'll remember it. I was filthy from you. Mm 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 mm. No 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 no. Disgusting behavior. <laughs> but I do not, I do not preface that uh, that I'm sure they were joking. Uh, I, I I know they're not being serious. But uh, yeah, um, I know what you guys are like basically, which is why I have to make sure to call out on the sustenance. All right. So to recap, last part. Beato uh, and. Gap and front of it, they just, they just scripted everything and fooled me, and I hate it, and it sucks, and I hate everything. Um, and now it's Battler's turn. Jessica again, always encouraging him, encouraging him not to pick the wrong answer like she and George did. Um, just like she did at the end. It reminds me of the tea party scene where she told Battler, "Don't, you can't believe in witches. Only you can do it. You're the best of us, Battler." Right? Remember that whole speech in episode one, tea party from Jessica. I remember that well. That one really did up. That one really worked on me. That was great. So uh, yeah, it was a great speech from, speech from Jessica. And again, here, right before she died, she got a couple minutes before to live before she died, and she, she made sure to give a heartfelt message to Battler. I st still hate Gap, or should I say Gap, 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 and I hate Beato. As always, they tricked me once again. God damn it, these witches. This is why they're they're not good people. Alright, let's keep reading now. That's basically what happened last part. I, have, uh, yeah, I, I don't... Uh, I'm just so angry over that, man. Alright, let's just keep reading, man. A well? Wait, what? Is this a well? Right, let me just start drinking this tea. Where is this? That's a great question. Kadia stuck her face out of the well and then Cross showed himself too. Cross, there should have been a well on this island this entire time and you never found it. That's crazy, bro. 
When he noticed that they could see the back of the mansion beyond the growth of the trees, Cross realized more or less where they were. That's crazy! And Cross, you've been here your entire life and never noticed that. That's crazy, bro. To think that th there had been a hidden underground passage in a well all the way out here and that it led to a hidden mansion. Bro, that's crazy! That's crazy, Cross, and you've been living here your entire life. So, wait, you tell me to... I'm gonna actually remember that it's in the back of the mansion. Right, you can see the back of the mansion through a grove of trees from this well that leads to the underground passage. So, I'm gonna remember that this well is located here because... Um, because it might help me out in, in figuring out where... Cause I'm, 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 at this point, I'm, I, I, we know the hidden goal is somewhere down there, right? Because that's where, where, where Eva found it. She, we saw her and, and Rosa going underground. I don't know how they were able to get underground, but this well might have been the entrance where they got down. And so, from the riddle of the epitaph, they might have figured out that there was a well that existed behind the mansion. So what does that have to do with the Sweetfish River? Sweetfish River running beloved home of old. Is there a river somewhere here? I don't know. Let's keep reading. So don't say ordinarily you can come up to a different place with real stairs. Probably you can unlock it. This is really tough on his old body, yo. Shannon, are you alright? Grab my hand. <laughs> Kanon, quickly, I'm okay. Kanon was the last, climbing up the ladder towards him in the shaft disguise as well. It was probably quite deep. Alright. Oh, that's why Cross didn't discover it, because it's a well. So he thought it's just a well that, that whatever, that led water. He didn't know it was an underground passage. I see. Hmm. When he looked down for the first time, he realized how far he'd come up. <laughs> God damn it, the Chester sisters were waiting. And we even beat Virgilia, man. Bang, a death already? Damn, I mean, we knew they were gonna die, but like, just right away, bang, who did you kill this time? Kano? As Kano was about to find a crown of the well, a hole the size of a basketball opened up in his chest. Alright, so he's the, he's the guy that uh, gets the. Um, let me see, third, fourth twilight, I think. Yes, so Kanon, victim of the fourth twilight. Let's go. The, the chest, no, no, the chest, head, chest, fifth twilight. Sorry, fifth twilight. I've corrected myself there. Everyone there looked through the hole in Kanon's chest to the scenery beyond. Rest in peace, my guy. They ambushed y'all. At least you guys tried resistant, eh? Cannon toppled backwards and was swallowed up into the depths of the well. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead for good. They've locked on. We can't avoid them. Run. At least one of us survive. Let's see. <clears throat> They're forced to... 8th Twilight claims 5 victims, doesn't it? So, head, chest, stomach, knees, and legs. Uh, that is 5 victims. How many are you guys? Kanon? Just died. Shannon? Probably gonna die. Kiria, Cross, and Danjo. 5 victims. How convenient. Y'all are dead. Y'all are dead as hell. So it seems like the survivors of this episode will be me, Maria, Kinzo, um... Uh, 
add this blanking. Um, Gora Kumasawa. At that time, Cross Kitty and Nanjo clearly saw a golden curve appear from the well and sew itself through the side of Shaman's head. Ooh. Ooh. From the well, that's crazy. Okay, so she's the victim of the fourth toilet then, because it's the head, alright. <coughs> Had pierced. The three are perfect witnesses to everything, up to and including the opposite side of her head being blasted away into pulp. Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I just didn't you say perfect witnesses. Shannon fell to her knees, blood gushing from both sides of her head, and flopped to the ground. Man, this tea's really helping out my mouth and throat, you know. It, it is, it is. It's definitely like, uh, definitely like, lessening the pain of swallowing. Guys, 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 stop it. Oh, look at Kiki's face. Run will be killed. That was smart from the Chester sisters, though. Get Kanon and Shannon first, who are the only two who can use magic power, and then the rest will be powerless. That was that was clever. I mean, I say clever. It's the most obvious uh, move to go for. Now the other three are going to be easy peasy. Nandra had become paralyzed in fright by the manner of Shannon's death, and the Chester sisters would not miss their chance. Ooh, Nandra's death this time. A curve again appeared from the well and pierced through Nandra's forehead. Out the back of his head an instant swing through him. Wait, wait, wait. So who's the fourth Twilight Death then? Or you guys not decide on that just yet? You're gonna y'all are gonna wait on that? Okay. Forehead because both Nanjo and Shannon got, got in their heads, so. Thump. Ah and so Nanjo expired. No, no, no. No, no, no. Where's the enemy attacking from? We're being sniped! Escape to the mansion! Block their line of sight! Oh, wait! The two dash into the back entrance of the mansion. Isn't this entrance the entrance to the courthouse? Or the exit to it? This is where Battler was when he was in the courthouse in episode 1. Right? That's the only time we've seen this door, or I remember seeing this door at least. Hmm, the courthouse. Oh yeah, also in episode 2 when we found the dead bodies of Kumasawa and... Go... Nanjo? Or Gora? I don't mean... Genji! No, 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 Genji was the one that saw it. It was me and Genji that found the bodies. I think it was Nanjo, it was Nanjo and Gora. Because Kumasawa was one of the people that, that found the body, I wanna say. I'm not confident though. In episode 2, I'm not confident. I think it was Nanjangora. Or was it. Kumasawa and Gora? I don't. No, Gora. I don't know. No, I think it was definitely Nanjo. I think Nanjo was definitely one of them. I think Kumasawa might have been the other one. Right, cause no, cause Gora died in in Nazi's room in episode two, so I think it was Kumasawa and Nanjo. Ah, man, it's it was easy to remember all the deaths when I was in episode two, but now that we've gone through four episodes of deaths, there's a lot of deaths to remain remembering, to remember how they, which ties they were and when they happened and all that. That's tough. Ah, man, I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna have to rely on you guys a bit for 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 remembering all those when the time comes for it. I mean, we don't need to right now, but when the time comes, I think I might have to. If they're very important, to remember exactly when and how they happen and all that. Um, because man, you know, the human brain is limited. Okay, I mean, remembering every single detail is is it's easy. You know, it's easy. I guess when you've read the visual novel multiple times, right? I mean, like heck, I remember most details from One Piece, for example, but that's because I've read it and watched it multiple times, so it's... When it comes to long stories, you know, I'm sure if I reread Mineko, I'll remember all the Twilight deaths, all the mysteries with detail, you know what I mean? 
but uh, anyway, let's keep reading. The two dash into the back entrance of the mansion. Here we go. Then, the instant cr cross tried to shut the door behind them. Gotcha! A golden curve appeared for the fourth time, piercing cross from the back of his head, out through his forehead, and smashing even his forehead to pieces. So they're just aiming for the foreheads, quick and easy deaths, uh, and guaranteed. <laughs> Is a kitty start to die? Why is kitty making that face? Hey, yo, guys, what is it, what is it with these sprites? That's weird. <laughs> Kill no kitty, eh? Cross's body lurched over, fell on hard, and drew a neat radial pattern with the insides of his head. Mm. I, I'm done drinking the tea. <sighs> Man, that really helped out my mouth, you know. Highly recommend, guys. Highly recommend. If your throat or roof of mouth is hurting, drink something hot. It doesn't have to be tea. It could be coffee. It could be uh, cocoa. It could be you know hot milk or whatever you know. Do yo. Do something yo, because that really helps out your throat um, for sure. Um, I feel a lot better than I did uh, earlier before I started recording. So um, yeah. Um, Otherwise, I just hope I don't get sick. <laughs> and hopefully, just remains as throat or mouth pain, should I say? Because again, I don't feel pain in my throat, just my mouth. Uh, hopefully, it remains as just that, and don't have to deal with any anything else. If it does, if I do be become sick, I won't be able to record the medical videos for a couple of days. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Kitty ran wildly through the hallway, flew into some room, and locked the door. Oh, some room. Okay, let's go, Kitty. Yeah. You're the only survivor now, <laughs> which is good for me, because Kitty is the one. If there's one I want to survive the most, it's Kitty for sure. But she couldn't imagine for a moment that this would save her life. She'll probably die soon. Oh, this is the guest room that Hideyoshi and Eva were at in episode one as well. Yes, in episode one. This was apparently one of the guest rooms. Yes, it's the one I remember. Cross, uh, not not Cross. Uh, Hideyoshi and Eva being in. Yeah, they got. They got killed through the like small window in the uh, in the door lock, so I um, I don't think you're safe in there, Kitty. At that moment, the phone on the side table caught Kitty's eye. Oh, she's trying to she's tr she's gonna try to call Batter maybe. Get a last moment with Batter. Get to talk to him one last time. That would be wholesome. After hanging up the call from Jessica, Bat was literally just about to dash out until bring. <laughs> In that instant, the phone rang again. I really was fortunate. How much escaped the man dungeon somehow? Yo, this soundtrack is so good, man. Guys. After I'm done reading the visual novel, I might just like make a whole video where I just listen to the soundtracks with you guys and then just go through them and all. Oh, because these soundtracks are banging. I don't care if the video gets copyrighted to heavens and below. <laughs> I'm not excited because Jessica and George Anika are. Is everyone alright? <laughs> listen, idiot! I probably won't be alive for long. Listen! Then, right after she got the sudden feeling that the keyhole of the locked door might have glowed gold, a gold curved line joined the helix. No, a gold, a golden sewing thread infiltrated the room through there at an incredible speed and bored a hole into the, into the floor by Kitty's feet. Kitty, yeah, you're about to die. Ma give whatever message you're about to give to Battle, give it quick. Because these are like some of the last words you'll ever get to say. This is like, these are like your last words, okay? Y this is your last moment. Here you go, Kitty. Hmm. Alright.
Oh, that's rare. The enemy, who had sniped the other four one after another with extraordinary skill, apparently really does have trouble shooting me between the eyes with a single shot while I'm holed up in this room. That seems doubtful. That seems doubtful, considering they they did pretty well. Uh, maybe they weren't held up in a room. But when you and and, 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 and Rudolph were running in episode 3, the previous episode, um, they didn't... They got you really easily, so... But you wouldn't hold up in a room, so I don't know. But the next strike will probably li hit, will probably hit. At this point, Kiria finally remembered the f initial massacre in the dining hall. Kiria, it's time to say the final words to battle. Don't, it's not, you don't have time to remember massacres. That's right. This is what killed Rudolph and the rest. All six of them. Listen, Batter, I'm going to tell you everything exactly as I saw it. I'm sure you'll think that something's gone wrong with my head. In fact, it's alright for you to think that. Even I still haven't come to terms with what, I, what it was I saw. After returning to the guest house, the family conference began in the dining hall, and I'll tell you everything that happened next. The call might only be cut off partway through. If it is, that's a moment I was killed. Then Kiryu spoke about how Kinzo had come, the family conference had started, the six had been killed, and the five of them had been confined. So I feel like the Chester sisters were ordered or maybe purposely didn't kill off Kiryu here because they they want to let Batler know what Kiryu saw for some reason. Or Kinzo might... Kinzo, because of the test that he's going to give Batler, he wants Kiryu to give her last words to Batler. So that's why Kinzo's giving her a chance before she dies. About how she had escaped somehow and made it to where she was now, and how everyone had finally been killed, all spoken dispassionately as she had seen it with no dramatization. She even spoke about how everyone except her had been killed and how she had observed the moments of all their deaths, and how even in this very moment someone was trying to kill her. <laughs> Three times? And how is it missing every time? I see. So, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe it is a, a, a maybe it's a time limit, or maybe it is a, a, a them trying to adjust their aim so that they get right between her eyes eventually. <laughs> Run away? Yeah, nah, sorry, Batra. Kiri has no chance of survival. Your mother dies here, unfortunately. Or stepmother, should I say. <laughs> I'm still being targeted. So I'm to hide. Seriously. Nah. <laughs> Battler. This is the strategy. You're gonna be left alone. I mean, Maddie's there, sure, but... Gordon and Kimosawa are stuck in the shutter. As if you're gonna get the chance to go and save him. Oh. Nee, Battler. Okay. Are Jessica and George still alive? The unfortunate answer to that is no. Saki. Jessica can not tell there's a phone call from Jessica. It kinda sounded like they were done for. It 
thought so. When we were being killed, I had that kind of premonition. What do you mean? Oh, so she's thinking about the, the ritual twilights. Okay. I thought perhaps the second twilight had been finished in the 13 person murder ritual and that our twilights had been reached. Right, the fourth wave twilights. Soon it's time for Beato to revive. Is that what, what Battler's test is gonna be? How is Battler's test gonna go? Will he also have to choose between those three options? In other words, when I die, that's 13. Yes, so Battler is going to be one of the five survivors again, by the way. Four episodes in a row, he survives till the end. I'm just saying, that is an incredible stroke of luck. Actually, after this video is recorded, I might, just like I did recording the possibility, the probability of the other thing, I might try to uh, calculate the probability of someone surviving. Given that everyone has an equal chance of dying, I want to calculate the chances of Battler surviving all four episodes here. I, I, wanna, I wanna see. Because there's gonna be 13 sacrifices, right? 13 sacrifices out of 18. Um, and, and and Battler is one of them and he has to survive all all uh, all twilights. Uh, all, all, uh, he has to survive all twilights. Obviously not the last one, because the last one kills everyone anyway, anyway. but the, the twilights before it, before the golden lantern, and there's just 13 out of 18 chance of dying and this is throughout eight episodes i don't have a calculator with me right now but i, I, I man i could have done that man, man, man. yeah damn i don't have a calculator right next to me that sucks that's rough and i feel like an engineer should always have a calculator next to him you never know when you're gonna need it because it's just that okay, okay wait uh, I'm gonna use my phone. Let's see, phone calculator. It's not as good as my actual calculator because my calculator can be is easier to calculate probabilities and stuff. But here we go. Okay, so, 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 one minus right because I'm trying to find out the yes because the probability of dying is 13 out of 18. So if I do the probability of that to the power of four, so 13 out of 18, one minus 13 out of 18 to the power of four, right? Because there's four episodes. What is the probability? No. No, that doesn't make sense. Wait, that doesn't make sense. How? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, got it. Okay, that was weird as hell. But it should have worked the other way too. Whatever, I got it. So, times... Times, um... Times, uh, let's see, 100. Okay, there you go. 0.6%. The if we assume that the chances of dying are equal in every episode, and that every everyone can die, like the chances of everyone dying is an equal amount, right? It's not as if Battler is favored more than someone else is. If you assume that, the, the chance of Battler surviving all four episodes is 0.6%. I don't think I have to tell you guys that that is a very, very low probability. So low that I'm beginning to think that it may not be at random. It might be, there might be something else affecting these deaths than just chance. Because Battler surviving, everyone else has died at least one Twilight. Let me think about it. Yes, Maria has died at all before. Yes, everyone else has died before. Maria has died before. Kumasawa has died before. God has died before. 
Battle is the only constant in every episode to survive. And if you take four episodes, that's that's a 0.6% chance. Because I mean, the chance of survival in one episode is five out of 18, right? Right? And that's like a 30% chance, ish. Right? Ish. But then you have to multiply by the chance of dying in the second episode as well, which is five out of 18. And then you have to do that again, five out of 18. And then you have to do that again, five out of 18. And that's how you get 0.6%. But or should it? I, to be more accurate, 0.595%. But, but, which is basically the same as doing uh, 5 out of 18 uh, to the power of uh, um, 4. But, to be even more uh, accurate, if we say, if Battle survives all 8 Twilights, the chance of that happening are extremely low. The chance of that happening, I can tell you guys right now, is 0.0035%. Yes, 0.0035%. That is a very low probability. That is an extremely low probability. 0.6%, um, that's rough. 0.006 is really, really off. Um, so, I mean, surviving four episodes, 13 out of 18 chance of dying. All 18 people have an equal chance of dying. I should still be able to do one. I don't know why I'm not able to do this way though this should give me the same answer 13 out of 18 I don't know why this isn't giving me the same answer 1 minus 1 minus the chance of surviving because the chances of, of, of dying all the twilights are 13 divided by 18 to the power of 4 right that is the chance of not even being able to survive a single one no that doesn't make sense why does that not make sense? I have a I have a hard time thinking about it right now because because I'm freaking recording. But why does that not make sense? Are the chances really that high of surviving at least once? Of of of, of not? Because wait, thirteen of eighteen. That's the chance of of dying, right? That's a 72% chance. Or 73% chance. The chances should get lower. So the chance of dying... Yeah, I guess so. The chance of dying all, f all the twice, sh I guess, would be zero. I guess it would be 27%. That means there's a relatively high probability that you survive a Twilight. Or that she survive a, a, an episode, right? It does. There's a twenty-seven percent chance that she die in all four episodes. Is there someone who's died in four episodes? Well, it's Canon and Shannon. <laughs> and there's a twenty-seven percent chance for that to happen. It's not extremely low, to be fair, but I guess it, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. But then doing... Why is that not... I'm trying to think in my head, why is this not... Right, because... 99%, there's a 99% chance of dying at least once, that's what I calculate here, right. There's a 99% chance that you die at least in one of the Twilight, in one of the episodes, all right? So it's extremely unlikely that you survive all Twilight. That's a 0.6% chance. Right, 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 right. But then let me think about it. Because what I calculate when I do 1 minus 13 out of 18 to the power of 4, what I'm calculating there is... Let, let me think, let me think. Because 13 out of 18 divided by 4. Uh, out of 4. Oh my god. I should be better at this. Probability. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm boring you guys with this. I know, I know, I know. You guys want to keep reading. But. Ah! 
In other words, when I, when I die, that's 13, the, then the ritual will be complete. The Golden Age Beato Riccio will be resurrected. Aye, 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 aye. So 13 out of 18, that's your chance of you dying. Right? To the power of 4, that's chance of you dying 4 times in a row. So 73% is the chances of you surviving at least one Twilight. No way! Cause that's just, yeah, that's the chance of you dying. 13 out of 18 to the power of 4 is the chance of you dying every single Twilight. So 73% chance of you surviving at least one. Surviving at least a Twilight. Well, 99% chance is a chance of you dying at least a Twilight. So there's a much higher chance of you dying at least a Twilight than surviving at least a Twilight. It adds up. Okay, it adds up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasted so much time with that. Uh, let's keep reading. Anyway, um, basically, battle is sus. Because there's a 99.4% chance of him having died in any of these uh, four episodes. And he survived all of them. Because if Gideon dies here, that's all 13 sacrifices. So Battler is extremely lucky, or it's not coincidental after all. And as a, uh, as an, you know, a guy who likes math a lot, like me, um, I want to call su big suspicion on these murders being done by a demon roulette that works by chance. I don't think this works by chance. I think there has to be a system to these murders, because the chances of surviving at least once is 72 percent yet Kanon and Shannon died every single time but sure it's still doable but what about this then the chances of surviving all four times is nine uh, is 0 0.6 percent and Bathurst done it I mean given that Kitty dies right here Kitty doesn't die right here then that's different <laughs> ヤギの化け物が宇宙じゃいる子の島さらにそいつらの親玉である黄金の魔女まで現れて一体どうなっちゃうというのかしらもう私には何が何だかわからないうん。Kitty's son's voice had given up completely on her own life. Hey, yo, Battler. Are you gonna? Are you going to stand there and believe in magic and witches and demons and, and gold monsters? And because Battler could tell that, he couldn't stop the tears. I did have just one thing I can advise you on. Nani. What? I feel kind of what she's gonna say. Even if a demon or a witch does appear in front of you, don't believe in it, right? Come on, Kiria. Do the Jessica speech in episode four, even though Jessica did a speech just did a speech not too long ago. Please do it. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Wait, what? She's doing the opposite. Okay, never mind. That blew me. Wait, why? There's no need to whatsoever to doubt what they are. Understand that they are what they seem. Why? He. He loses to Beato if he if he if he accepts that. No? Battler, don't follow this advice. <laughs> oh. oh I see okay. So Kitty's not saying that so Kitty's not saying that you shouldn't you shouldn't be skeptical of their existence or anything like that. She's just saying, bro, take it at face value and get through get through it. Alright? Forget about trying to understand what's happening. Just accept that it's happening and do it. Don't accept you don't have to accept magic or witches. You just have to make sure that you can beat these creatures or whatever. It's di that's different. Okay, I can I can okay, I can take this tip from Kiria. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I never thought I'd hear something like that coming from your mouth. I can't believe it. That is a wild thing coming from Kira's mouth. But Kid is saying this to help a battler as much as possible. Oh, 
That's it. I understand that it's unbelievable. That's why that's the only advice I can give you to you. Believe. She's telling him to believe. Believe. It reminds me of believing in magic. Believing is magic. Right? It reminds me of it goes back to what Eva younger Eva was saying to Eva about believing in her. Uh, and that'll give her magic power. It reminds me of Shannon also saying that believing Will give you magic and of course it reminds you of Maria and Angie believe magic from believing love from believing <laughs> what if magic and love are interchangeable terms in the Mineco world to experience magic is to experience love. To use magic is to use love. But even then, in the world of Mineko, most of the time we've seen magic be used, it's been for cruelty. And when it's been used for good a lot of times, it was it still is just a script. <laughs> they scripted me to thinking that magic was good. Is he trying to convince me magic is bad? Is he trying to convince me loving is bad? But then you have you have the whole Mari Sakutaro stuff. But even that ended in a tragedy. You tell me that again, magic just leads to tragedy? Loving just leads to tragedy? Something I can't understand. I can't and I can't believe. Without love it cannot be seen. You can't understand it without love. Is that it? Ah. But that but I do still feel like that goes against Bartler and Bertos Bertos fight. <laughs> Did she get cat <laughs> got? It grazed her face, I reckon, or somewhere really close to her head. It's about to hit her forehead soon. Besides, if it had hit her between her eyes, she wouldn't have, she wouldn't have been able to scream. Ah! <gasps> Here we go! The story turns back around in full circle. I was once called towards you because you were Osmi's son, son. Forgive me for those days. Hey, yo, Kiria, I love you, I love you, I love you. Don't forget, don't forget. Kiria, you're awesome. Don't forget. Alright, I forgive you. I mean, that's, it's not me. I'm, just, I'm not the one supposed to forgive you. Bad is the one that's supposed to forgive you. But, uh, I, I'm gonna forget you. Alright? Dying is not when your your head is crushed by a freaking sewing golden thread. That happens when you're forgotten. And Kiria, I won't forget you. Uh, I felt as though I heard an incredible sound at the other end of the receiver. And then a noisy clattering sound. As though the receiver had fallen on had fallen to the floor. Kiriza! Kiriza! Kirisan never responded through the phone again. That's that's a chapter ending. What chapter are we on now? Seventeen? 
or 18 or something. Calls it the tragedy. S October 4th, 1986. Almost midnight. Of course you don't, Maria. You don't know why I'm, I'm angry. Alright. Maria, they scripted me into thinking George and Jessica are being cool. みんな殺されたんだぞ。あのクソジジイに。ベアトリーチ復活の儀式とか、わけのわかんないことを言った。なら、これで13人が生贄に捧げられて、もうベアトリーチは蘇った頃だよ。ああ、なら上等だ。
Someone might be hiding. I'll search every nook and cranny of this place. Find them and beat the crap out of them. In a rage, Battler grabbed his hat stand spear and flew out of the room. Yeah, like Jessica's saying, that hat stand spear is not gonna do much. But good luck. Not only gets your enemies. Mario, watch him go, looking bored. Hmm. Battler won't believe in her. You're the baka. <laughs> ah, keep laughing at me. Yeah, we'll see you get the last laugh. That's that's the one you really want. I'll beat Beato. One of these episodes I will. Then the phone rang out again? Who is it this time? Is it Maria's test now? Are Maria and Beato gonna take the test simultaneously? Simultaneously just like Jessica and George did? Maria stood up and grabbed the receiver. Oh, mushy. Yay! <laughs> of course, of course, the sound of the phone also reached Battle's ears as, as he was about to dash out of the guest house. With a violent forcefulness, he turned around and dashed into the cousin's room. Oh, he got—he went back. Ma Maria, Devate. The phone call. Who's it from? It's gonna be from Beato, obviously. She just revived, I bet. The terrifying look at his face. Battle yelled out Maria, who was on the phone. You couldn't blame him. Right now, the only humans left alive on the island were himself, Maria, Gore, and Kumasawa. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Kinzo's out here. You forgot about Kinzo. But th there was no way those two would, could call when they were locked up in the gardening storehouse. So obviously it's a call from Kinzo, but she's gonna say Beato, obviously. Which meant there was only one person. It had to be Kinzo. <laughs> As she happily chatted with the person on the other end of the phone, Maria slowly turned to face Battler. And, with an unsettling expression on her face, she laughed like <laughs> It felt almost as though the, the person on the other end of the line was chatting about Battler. Maria. Beato. He was on the phone, Grandfather. Battler couldn't imagine that this was the case. After all, it was inconceivable that Maria would be having such a friendly talk with Kinzo. Chatting to him about battle with that eerie smile on her face. Just what kind of person can be on the phone who could make Maria chat with a smile like that? That time, in the back of his mind, the words Kiri had spoken to him drifted up. Even with, if a witch does appear, there is no need to doubt it. Just believe in its existence. Mm. It's his test, right? It's his time for the test. <laughs> He's on the phone. Hi, Oh, she's gonna hand it over to Battler. Ooh, okay. Alright, Battler. It's time to declare war, bro. Frick the script. You're gonna beat Beato for real now, right? Don't don't let it be a trick one more time. After getting the consent of the person on the other end, she held the receiver to up to Battler. Maria held the receiver out for him to take, as it was perfectly normal. Battler felt just a little bit of hesitation towards taking the receiver. Because, by acknowledging the existence of the person on, at the other end, he loses in the game board between him and Beato! He would have no choice but to admit it. Kiria had said it. There is no longer any need to doubt their existence. But you're gonna go through with that, Battler. You're gonna go through with that mindset. Battle took the receiver. After he did so, Maria briskly headed for the door. Ta -ta -tun! Battler was slightly fearful about finding out for sure who was at the other end of the receiver. Questioned Maria before taking the call. Hmm. Hey, where are you going? To my test. So Maria also has a test. Well, obviously. Let's see what Maria's test is gonna be as well. Oh, so is it a guarantee that either me or you is going to be the issue my family had? Because it's gonna be me! It's gonna be me. For sure it's gonna be me. <laughs> I'm gonna be the head, you suck, Maria. <laughs> 
Don't go, you'll be killed. So becoming head is, is a completely disconnected thing from going to the golden land. Makes sense. Have a teacher who well, ever became head. And she was also invited to the golden land, to be fair. She was one of the five survivors, so. Interchangeable things for ever per 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 personally, but we'll see who becomes the head. Mario! Mario! Mario's gone, bro. Battler stretched his hand out to Mario's back as, he sh as she left, but the cord of the receiver that he was gripping held him back like a chain. He read it himself. Battler put the receiver to his ear. Moshi Moshi Beato Right? Congratulations! <laughs> the subject is called Happy Maria and she and Beato in English she's saying congratulations. What? What's happening? Music? <laughs> With just golden dream it's magical. Is that Maria? Is that Maria's voice actress? Is that Beato's voice actress? What's going on? <laughs> what a weird soundtrack. I've heard the instrumental, ver instrumental version of this, but this is the first time we hear the full song. In a witch's golden prayer? Which is golden breakup? <laughs> this soundtrack is so weird, or a song, I guess, at this point. It's like a circus song, or some theater song. What are they saying? Which is called Sosa? Killing in silence? Uh, I think I've heard the soundtrack for long enough. Let's keep reading. Why is she talking in English? Beat, what's wrong with you? <laughs> God damn, I hate her cackling, y'all. Screwed up, mocking English filled his ears. <laughs> he was the voice of a woman he didn't know. Who? The inside of his head was starting to freeze up. Who? Yo, the voice actress delivers on these lines. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> what? What do you do in pairs? I don't get it. What do you mean, who? Is there only just some fine? What? 
I don't get it. I don't get it. Let's keep eating. Oh, you just now are saying this. We've known she's been insane since episode one. Who are you answering? Say it in English. Hey, do it, please. I mean, I'll actually understand what you're saying uh, audibly if you say it in English, so I'll take it. Isn't that your specialty? It is? Since when has English been back to specialty? I don't get it. Underling? <laughs> Captive? You're saying you have Kinzo captive? I thought like, he was the one who held you captive, at least for those years when you turned to Homicule's human. That last laugh didn't sound like he was aiming at Batman. It was almost as though Kinzo was right next to the phone, cackling as well. <gasps> Wait a minute! She's in her human form! So, there was a comment also that told me about how I only have to focus about, about on Beato, Genji, and one of it for now when it comes to witches and uh, demons being, you know, having humanoid, human forms to them in, in the island, right? Runaway being Genji and obviously Runaway Genji and uh, and uh, Regilia being being Kimosawa. Is Beto supposed to be Kinzo then? Because Beto is right next to Kinzo and she's now revived. Did she come out of Kinzo? Is that why she said she's saying that Kin she's holding Kinzo captive? How does that work? I don't know. Let's keep reading for now. But she's in her human form right now, and you can see, you can tell that because she's, if you look at her dress, she, that's a school uniform, not her witch dress, so that's her human form. You've been revived. You waited a thousand years for this ritual? What a losing hope. Thanks to me? Just this once I'll let you have that take back of your skin, so what? <laughs> Can't you act a little more ladylike? <laughs> ladylike? Kinzo, that's your mistress? Okay. She's never been ladylike in her life, bro. She's a horrible person. Kinz and Beato sat facing each other with the chessboard on the reception table. Also on the table were expensive chesses, cheeses, and they like to go with drinks. Okay. And there was a line of several empty wine bottles. Several? Man, you're all a drunk drunk, huh? As Beato rolled around in her sofa in, a, in an unseemly way, she held a wine glass in one hand in a good mood. And probably completely drunk. I was gonna say, she's probably completely drunk. Because she's in her human form, right? Fumer form now, right? So she, can, so she can get completely blasted drunk. Don't use a well-aged noble rock wine like this as decoration. 
It's a 1947? That's... What? Isn't that 39 years ago? Hmm... Hmm... 39 years ago. Beto used to be human 19 years ago. And she was around... She was around 20 or 18 or something years old when she died with Rosa, right? Did Kinzo get that wine when Homunculus Beato was born? Or around, and around the time Kinzo made this mansion? And the hidden mansion? All over each other? That's crazy. What? Wax of the empty bottle? You're crazy. As if we didn't know that, though. You're a little too excited. You can't lose too much. Long live my flesh. Weirdo. None of this makes sense. Saying that you're bear to reach or something? Is that a JoJo reference? That has to be a JoJo reference. That's a JoJo reference. Have a mouth or a tongue when you were in your witch form, even though you were visible and made yourself a person. Okay, but okay, Jojo reference. Yes, I am. Do you mean you've only just met? Right, so Beto's breaking the, di the dimension walls. She's talking to backers of the game. A whole 10 kilogram gold ingot? Isn't that a lot of money? That's like... How many thousands of dollars is that? That's... That's thousands upon thousands of dollars, right? Mm. You see the golden witch? That's enough! Where are you right now? Answer me. Yes, it can beat you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you two won't get to have your nice fun times. So I'll when I beat you up. Mm. What the frick? Just, just thinking about love with you, Beato, makes me disgusted. Absolutely disgusted. The opposite I want is to be loved with you. Don't. If you give me an ounce of your love, I'm gonna tenfold it with hate, because I hate you. Frick you! Get out of here with that laugh. I'm actually gonna talk over your laugh, because I, I, I hate you. You suck. 
Yeah, I'm with you, Butler. Ah, Kinzo goes to do Maria's test. So you're gonna send Kinzo to do the test with me like how I expected it to go, so that I would fight Kinzo. But now you wanna visit me, Beato. You wanna fight me personally. Okay, Beato. Oh yeah, I'll, be I'll beat you up. Good. It's good. Good. I, I, hey, listen. I wanna get a piece of Kinzo. Not gonna lie. And I wanna make sure I take him down. But you're a higher priority. I wanna make sure you're down. Good, good. Then you're saying that you will do Battler's test? That guy's much like a, long, like a younger you, you know? It makes my heart race. Don't worry, I'm not gonna cheat on you. As if... As if... I mean, you can cheat on him with whoever else you want. But as if... I'll be the one you cheat on Kinzo with. You two are both disgusting, and I'll, I'm, I'll make sure I'll beat you both up. I want a piece of both of you. I wanna, I wanna, mm. Both of you, I want to punch both of you. Weirdo, and so is Kinzo for tying you up like that. But I guess you deserve it because you're both weirdos, idiots, garbage people. Kinzo, that's how you treat your own family. Great, I wouldn't have it on any other way. I'll make sure to succeed in what George and. Jessica couldn't. And don't cheat, don't bring Garp with her teleportation magic and and run over with his barrier and all the goats to mess me up. Nah nah nah. I want this to be a 1v1 and I'll take you down, you frick. You wanna fight at the front entrance of the mansion? Bet, bet, I'll come to the front entrance. Bet. Yeah, I'll become the next head, I'll beat you both up, and then I'll succeed in you my family, because you both are freaks. Hey, yo, didn't you say yourself that Kinzo is gonna, was gonna get jealous? I want nothing with you, I just wanna beat you up and leave you to dust. That's all, that's all, I, I don't care about controlling you. You suck. You're worse, worse than furniture. I won't give you the opportunity to laugh. Frick you're laughing and cackling. Frick you. Stinking drunk. Hell yeah. It's a pop punch way to help you through your hangover. Oh baby, it's like Kaido all over again. Yeah, yeah, I'll make sure make sure to sober Kaido up. Kaido can try to fight drunk all he wants. I'm gonna beat him up, Gear Fourth Ultimate style, and even go even further beyond. If you know what I mean. Butter impulsively slammed the receiver down. There was no need to talk through our receiver anymore. I'll meet her face to face. And settle this and avenge my family. George was so cool, and so was Jessica. And Katie's last words and Jessica's last words, I'm not gonna forget them. I'll make sure. I'll be the next head, and I'll succeed this test, and I'll, I'll beat Beato up. Hell yeah! I took the spear made by taking apart the hat stand. 
and went outside without even an umbrella. Eh, I don't need no umbrella. Now, now when I got a panther to kill, the umbrellas are not important anymore. It's not to imagine that the young woman called herself Beatrice will be waiting for me alone. I should probably assume that she'll be waiting with those supporting troops that Goro and Kamasawa told, told us about. Going along will be too reckless. But you gotta do it. Never mind. You gotta go to them first and try to get support troops yourself. Okay. Goro, Kamasawa, it's me, it's Battler! I headed for the garden storehouse first, fair enough. I need all the help I can get, fair enough! I mean, I feel like it, I feel like I want this to be a one v one between you and Berto, but if you want to be cautious, Battler, okay. But it's a burly man, so I can probably count on him to add some extra brawn. Kamasawa's knowledge and familiarity with the area as a senior servant might prove to be a huge weapon. Both of them have master keys, and they know more about the mansion than I do. They're pretty reliable allies. As I banged on the shutter and called out for them to open it, I remembered that there was nothing they could do from the, from the inside. I would have to get the key back from them and open the shutter myself. I went around to the side, knocked on a small lattice window there and opened it up. Hey, it's me, Batter! Hey, come on, get up! I'm guessing they're dead, right? Are they dead? De dead? They dead? The scene in the shed, lit by a dim light bulb, was all too bizarre. Rest in peace. <laughs> Battle, you gotta avenge them, yo. From a low ceiling beam hung two thick ropes. What? That's the way they said to kill him? And at the end, Goro Kamasawa's son. We're hanging by their necks. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. Whoa! Whoa! This is crazy, bro. Wow. That is very brutal. That is a very brutal way to die. Wow. But there's blood coming off of them. Is blood supposed to come off of you when you get hanged like this? No, I feel like there's, the blood is because of some other reason. They, they might have gotten like stabbed or something first right but I, I don't know listen I don't know what happens when you hang yourself I don't know, I don't know. I've, I've never seen someone hang themselves in real life before uh, thankfully um, that has to be a traumatizing experience I'm sure what that is going through um so now I'm thinking I'm just gonna head, go ahead and assume these two are not part of the um, are not part of the Twilights right they're just dying to go to get to the golden land. Unless they're telling me Kitty and Cross were the two that were one of the, the two five survivors of the Twilights, and these two uh, were, are not part of the survivors. But I feel like that doesn't make sense to me. Either way, only Battler, Muddy, and Kinzo remain now that these two are dead. So five are supposed to get to the golden land and be survivors. Now two of the, of the five are dead. So. Uh. It was them and I was looking through a narrow gap between all the various pieces of equipment shooting about, so I couldn't make out any more detail than that. Yeah, and, and this, these, this, well, this, like, a uh, spread, wallpaper spread thing here, does a good job of showing that it's a, it's a dim, um, narrow gap. Uh, this perspective we're looking at them, at them uh, uh, from, so. But when they showed, not even a tremor after I called out to them. And because of the way the loops around their necks seem to carry the full weight of their bodies, I could, sen I could sense no trace of life from them. I, I can't imagine they hang themselves, right? Surely Beato, like, forced their necks next in that position, right? Right. Surely Kumasa and Goro didn't hang themselves right next to each other like that, right? Am I wrong? Am I dumb? The shutter is still closed. And there's only a single key, which I'm sure got us onto possession of. So how did the culprit open the shutter and kill the two of them inside? No, wait. 
they weren't necessarily killed. If this is suicide, that's what I mean. Like, especially because it's a rope hanging, this is more likely to be assumed a suicide. But still, or maybe one of them murdered the other by having them hang themselves, or just killed the other. I mean, there was blood coming down from them. So what if one of them stabbed the other, killed them, and then had them hang themselves, and then uh, and then hang their butt, their corpse, and then they then hang themselves as well? If this is suicide. That way, this log through makes sense, but I don't know why the two of them would hang themselves. That's the thing. You don't know the motivation, but you can explain it in human ways. Feebly, I slump down on the spot. Now, the only humans allowed on this island are me, Maria, <laughs> and Kinzo. Let's just go with that. But I like the, I like what he's saying. <laughs> and both Maria and Kinzo are not people you can vibe with anymore, Battler. So realistically, only you are left. Go on, Batter. It's up to you now. No, there's also that not so woman calling herself Beatrice. I mean, if you do that, then there's also Ronove Virgilia, uh, the Chiesa sisters, three of them, the goats, uh, you know, etc. I'm. I find it very fascinating that the the the, uh, the seven stakes haven't shown up at all this episode. I mean, wait, did it? Did it? Did it? Did it did the uh, seven sticks show up at the at the fir during the first twilight? Because if they did, they haven't shown up ever again after that. But I don't exactly remember if they should they, sh they were in the first twilight or not. Might have been acting like she's on the witch's side from the beginning, and Gramps is the very person who revived the witch. Plus, there's the witch herself. What the hell? And then it's just a stuff. Uh, it's just as though I'm the only one on the island on this island. Exactly, battle. You're alone at this point. Using my pole as a cane, I feebly, I feebly rose to my feet. Dang. I can't do it like this. I've got to avenge everyone. It's up to you, Battler. It's no good! Battler, everyone's fates, their, their, their wishes, it's all up to you, bro. All the family, it's up to you, man. I got the crying out of the way while I could, so that all my weak emotions would be squeezed out with my tears. Here you go. Get the crying out, get the weeping out, and then get your anger forth. It's time to beat up Berto. Come on! Come on! Then I straighten up, gaze into the darkness in the direction of the mansion. I'm sure that's what it said. I accidentally jumped over. At the entrance to the mansion, the witch is waiting. Here we go. I'll go and settle this. I'll find the source of this weird blood soaked night and crush her with my own hands. Alright. It's the pouring rain. I walk through the rose garden without an umbrella, letting myself get soaked. I could see the arbor in the distance. According to Jessica, it seemed that Joe Janicki had also been killed. Yes, he should be in the arbor somewhere. You should be able to see his corpse very soon, Battler. Well, by this point, there's no need to worry about the lives of any hostages. That's true. That's a positive. Or is it though? Maybe it would have been better if he did have to worry about the lives of hostages. Because <laughs> then they at least did be alive. I left the path, aiming for the arbor. Then, I saw George Oniki's weather beaten corpse. Oh, yeah, I should also read everyone's character files. I'll do that at the start next part, maybe. We'll see. Because I do need to read everyone's character files, because you know, they died. Alright. I, I, good thing that they did a, a water pop up there when Battle found his corpse. I do need to check all the character files when the, after deaths. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys are reminding me to do it in the comments already, but uh, I'll, I'll make sure to remember in the next couple of parts here. But okay, not right now though. Oh, the corpse was in front of the arbor. You 
It's a tragedy, f tragedy for real, for real. If he could have died under the arbor, he would at least have been spared being beaten down by the rain. He, he, he didn't even get that treatment. Ronover at least dealt with Jessica in a, in a very um, graceful way. A gob just killed him, didn't even give him that three minute window, and then set him off to die and just, just have his body being be beaten down by the rain, man. There was a gaping, gaping hole in Anki's forehead. As though he had been shot with a gun. It, all, it looks almost as though he's crying, you know. Oh wait, that might be... That might be just water in front of the glasses, though. Mm. Perhaps because the rain had washed everything away, his face wasn't covered with blood, and so he looked almost like he was sleeping. However, the deep red his clothes were stained still provided the evidence that a large amount of blood had flowed out. How happy I'd be if he were sleeping, or else pretending to be dead. But Anaki's eyes remained open, even though the rain sprayed against him. And the hole in his forehead was, without a hint of a joke, the real thing. Are you gonna close up his eyes? A classic movie moment, you know what I mean? Just before you fight the big bad? There had been a faint chance that Goren Kumasawa's son Hanging by their necks in the garden shed could have been a bad joke. But that naive possibility had now been completely denied. And, as I looked at, his, at this corpse, I became completely sure. Just as goda had once said, the enemy came to take lives as though these lives were pieces on a chessboard. Seems that old Jesus and the witch really don't view our lives as anything more than that. Dang witch. When she was on the phone, she talked about us like we were on the game board, like we were on, uh, playing chess, pieces on a chessboard. And so does her grandfather. Then it's alright if I kill you all of you like it's a game as well, alright? Just you wait, Beato. Hell yeah. Oh, we're gonna get her. We're gonna get her. The lightning caused the mansion's vast shadow to emerge. Finally, the mansion. As the massive shape came to view, there was no silhouette of any person. Where is Beato? Is she, she said she was gonna be from the mansion. Is she lying? It seemed that there weren't any underlings waiting for me in a pack or anything like that. According to Kiria san, there, was, there were a large number of attendants with goat heads. At least for now, I couldn't sense any, any large group like that hiding and staring at me. The Chesa sisters could be staring at you, like they, they were staring at uh, at you when you put the key in the when well, when you when you trapped up. Gora and Kumosawa and gave them the key. The Chester sisters could be tearing at you and you might not be able to see it or notice them. What's this? Beneath the roof of the entrance, there's something set down. The roof of the entrance? Huh? What's this? A box? There's a box? It looks like the kind of small box that girls often keep trinkets in. What? Or maybe it was the same kind of extravagant cigar case you'd find in a reception room. Mm hmm? Either way, it didn't look like something that belonged here. It clearly looked as though I was being told to open it. But the thought of doing what they wanted me to do was somehow irritating. However, it didn't look like we'd get anywhere if I didn't open it. Could it be that it's set up with, a with some trap to make it explode when opened? I mean, if that's the way she wants to kill me... Then freak her. Ah, whatever. Open the box. I don't care at this point. Open the box. While thinking things like that and forgetting even to go under the overhang, I continued to glare at the box as the rain beat down upon me. Then, 
mix in with the thunder or some kind of music. Well, is it finally midnight now? It sounded like something like that. Hmm. Mm hmm. Was the one? Is the tone of the big clock in the halls announcing midnight? Oh, okay. So it is midnight. Okay, I was saying. Hmm. It was also the sound that announced that the crazy day of October 4th had finally ended. And that the much more incredibly crazy day of October 5th had begun. Which I find interesting because... Because in all the other episodes, most people died in October 5th. The people who died in October 4th at night were the first twilight and maybe the second twilight, but not even. The second twilight and the other twilights typically happen October 5th. So I find it really interesting that they all happen now in October 4th. And that October 5th is just now beginning, even though all the Twilights are over and there's only three people remaining. Three humans, at least. I find that interesting. Why is this episode different when it comes to that? I wonder. That sound quiet, quietened. And I could hear an eerie laugh coming out coming out of nowhere. Uh-oh, Beato's there. Where is she from? I got the feeling that the voice is coming from the heavens. And I looked up at the sky. Wait, is that her entrance? She's gonna fly down upon me? There was a woman I had never seen before. No, it's true that I've never seen her before. It's not true that I've never seen her before. I saw her once today. Where? Wait, where? When? In the portrait, you mean? But she's wearing her school uniform, not her portrait dress. Dress. Yes, in the portrait inside the mansion. Okay, it's good. Okay, good. I was like, did you actually see her for real, for real? In real life? Beato? The clothes were different, but that face was just like the witch of the portrait. Yep, she's wearing her human clothes, which makes me think she's in her human form. A little bit of her teeth are out, I wonder. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, who am I kidding? I already know who this person is. Look at that. Look at that. And ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good place to end it, you know? I think this is a really good place to end it. So, you are Beatrice. Next part. Batter's test. Begins. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of Neko when they cry. Next part. A showdown is about to go down. Here we go, guys. Next part is gonna be hype. Hey, I'm very hyped for next part. I can't wait to start recording next part. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of Vineco when they cry. Next part, you bet. I'll beat that crap out of Beato. I will win. All right. No more script following like Gop and run of it. Now I'll win for real, for real. All right. This is the fight I'm excited for. Here we go, the first time they get to properly fight like this. In the visual novel. Like in the actual chessboard. This will be a for real, for real fight. Alright. We're ne really nearing the end of episode 4 of all the question arcs. So it's fitting that we ended off with a fight between these two. And then maybe we'll get to see Marius Tess as well. We'll see. That's probably how. how that, Marius Tess is probably how. How, uh. The visual novel is going to, um. Well, this episode's probably going to end, right? With Marius test. Because I'm, I'm gonna... Here's my prediction. Batu's going to lose. He's going to die. Then we go to Maria. Maria has her test. I bet Marius test is going to be related to Sakutaro and Rosa. Right? It's, going to, it's probably going to be Kinzo talking about Sakutaro and Rosa. Being like, which one would, you know, which one would you kill? Sakutaro or Rosa? Which one would you rather have? The good Rosa or Sakutaro? Or something like that. And Maria's going to have to choose something really hard or whatever. And something crazy is going to happen there, then episode 4 will end, and then we'll get to the tea party. That's what I, my prediction. What I hope will happen is Battle beats the crap out of Beato. Like, actually horrendously bad, bro. Please let it happen. Battle, you better win. Alright. Now, uh... Yeah, this part's over for now. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this part. At least... As much as I enjoyed winning it. I'll see you guys next time for the ultimate showdown.
All right, y'all. I'll see you then. Peace.